Welcome to the next video in the Boswell's College Maths Induction Playlist. In this video we are skipping ahead a little bit um, to solving a quadratic equation. That's simply because it fits into um, the topic that we looked at earlier which was factorising quadratic expressions. Okay, so here we can see we're being asked to solve x squared plus 5x plus 6. The first thing that we are going to want to do like we did in the um, factorising quadratic expressions videos is to factorise this part of our expression. So the f what we will do, we can see here that this factorises to double brackets and this is going to be equal to zero still. And so what we're going to have in here is x, x um, plus 3 and x plus 2. So x plus 3 bracket x plus 2 is equal to 0. Now because this is equal to 0 we can see that we this is going to give us an answer because when this is factorised this means that x plus 3 so something plus 3 multiplied by something plus 2 is equal to 0. Now if I'm getting an answer of 0 when I'm multiplying two quantities together that means that um, that means that one of them must be 0. We think for example how can we make 0 by multiplying two numbers together we could do it by doing 320 multiplied by 0, 81 times 0 or 0 times 0. Any, any uh, multiplication sum that involves a 0 is going to end up as being 0. So what we could say then is that one of these must be 0. So I can just say then that x plus 3, that could be equal to 0. And so if x plus 3 is equal to 0, that means that x must be minus 3. Then I could also say that x plus 2 could be 0 as well. So if x plus 2 is equal to 0, that means that x will equal minus 2. So with quadratic equations like we've got up here, with quadratic equations um, we generally get two answers. Okay, next example I've got x squared minus 2x equals 63. Now the first thing that I need to do here is I need to make my equation equal to zero. So like I had here it was already equal to zero. In this situation it's not, so I need to make it equal to zero. So that's going to give me x squared minus 2x minus 63. And that's going to be equal to 0. Then from there, I then need to figure out what this expression here factorises to. It will factorise to x, um, x minus 9 and x plus 7. and that is equal to 0 and so then I could say that x plus 9 could equal 0 and so that means that x equals minus 9 or I could say that x uh, sorry made a little mistake there um, that shouldn't be a plus that should be a minus so x minus 9 equals 0 which means that x equals um, 9 and then I've got x plus 7 could equal 0 as well and that would mean that x would have to be minus 7 so those two there are my two final answers so I could have x equals 9 or x equals minus 7 okay on to um, some trickier ones so to factorise these, we looked at this in previous videos. If you're not sure how to factorise this, I suggest you watch those first. So first thing, I'm going to say that AC is equal to minus 12. And that B is equal to uh, minus 1. So the two numbers, um, which two numbers will multiply to make minus 12, but add to make minus 1 that would be minus 3 
and plus uh, sorry minus four and plus three then put this into brackets so 2x minus 4 and 2x plus 3 uh, that equals 0 and that's all divided by 2 so 2x minus 4 divided by 2 that's going to give me x minus 2 um, and then 2x plus 3 stays as it is and that equals 0 then I could say that x minus 2 x minus 2 could equal 0 and so x equals 2 and then um, 2x plus 3 Um, could equal 0 and so that means that 2x 2x would equal minus 3 and so that x then would be minus 3 over 2 I know I space a little bit minus 3 over 2 or minus 1.5 if you'd rather write it like that um, ok this example here I've got ax squared plus 2x minus 1 equals 2. So again, I've got this situation like I had earlier where my equation was not equal to 0. So the first step in solving this is going to be to um, make this equation equal to 0. So that ax squared plus 2x uh, minus 3 equals 0. Then from here, um, from here, I would then find out what AC equals. So AC is equal to minus 24, and B is equal to 2. So that's going to give me um, the two numbers that I'm looking for. Which two numbers will multiply to make minus 24, but sum to make um, positive 2. That's going to be uh, plus 6 and minus 4. So putting that in, 8x plus 6 and then 8x um, minus 4 equals 0 and that's all divided by 8 so I can see here that 8 does not divide exactly into either of those so instead I'm going to call um, 8 2 times 4 so 8x plus 6 divides by 2, so that gives us 4x plus 3. And then 8x minus 4, that divides by 4, and that gives us 2x, uh, 2x minus 1. And so that is equal to 0. Then from here I could say that 4x plus 3 equals 0. Um, and so that means that 4x will equal minus 3 and so that means that x will equal minus 3 quarters and then for this one I can say that 2x minus 1 is equal to 0 2x will be equal to 1 and so x will be equal to 1 